Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today I have a super cute looking box from Axis Flying, but of course you already saw the thumbnail. And you know, today we are talking about a two inch Cinewhoop with DJI O3. And I'm super excited about the comeback of this category because with naked GoPros, two inches were a little bit underpowered to carry all that weight. But finally with O3, you can have a super, super nimble drone that records in high quality and it's so nice to go indoors and also outdoors where there are a lot of people where you shouldn't fly really such a small drone looks like a toy and you can fly no problems and it's amazing but before i open the box super small box actually and show you what's inside please remember to like subscribe and comment on this video let me know what you think about two inches drone and as always if you need to buy anything check out the links down in the description below Thank you so much and thank you for helping this channel out. I want to bring more reviews on the table. So let's open this super small box and see the Axis Flying Cineon 20 FPV Cinewhoop. Boom! Open the box. There isn't too much inside. First of all, you can see the super tiny and cute drone. I'm gonna be talking about it in a moment. We have a bag of Gemfan 2023 by 3 and actually I never tried these 2 inches props so I'm very very curious because there is not a lot of choice in the 2 inch propeller category. Then we have a foam pad to put around your drone ducts basically and you can uh, make it even more inoffensive which is amazing. Then you find a nice Axis Flying branded anti-static bag with an extra battery strap, the bottom foam to, for landings, parallel LiPo parallel to Naked GoPro uh, cable and also the screw for the Naked GoPro and on the back you can see also they give you a tool. And as always you find a paper with the instructions, actually this time only one paper, Chinese and English. There is a lot to read, read it because it's for safety and if you need more as always you have the QR codes on the side of the box. And finally, let's talk about this super cute little drone. I just love two inch drones. They look like toys. You can fly wherever you want. They make a little bit of noise, but people don't usually care about them too much. And this one is 94 millimeter motor to motor. The weight is 143 grams. It's on the beefy side, but as always, the GIO3 full is heavy. And you can always make it naked if you will. I, I most always do with the small drones. You say 15, 20 grams, which is always nice. And this drone comes packed with stuff. I never seen a GPS on a drone so small. And actually I don't even fly them too far when I need a GPS. So I don't know why we, would you need one. Uh, tell me in the comments if you find GPS useful in these small drones, but they are not long range if you fall you're gonna go and pick it up. Also because this is, in my opinion, for urban areas, indoors, GPS is not super needed. But I know people always wanna see GPS and this is the cutest one I ever seen. Just look how small it is, it's crazy. And of course we have O3, we have GPS. My version has a crossfire antenna, which I'm gonna remove because, you know, I'm trying to fly everything with the DJI radio. Talking about motors, it uses Axis Flying on 1305 5500 kV ones 4S, which is very torquey for this small drone. And it's powered by a F4 flight controller with 20 amps ESCs, and it's all in one. And also, the camera here comes with a TPU protector, which should protect a lot because, as you can see, the camera is way up front, so you don't see the ducks in, uh, in the field of view, which is always nice and also you have protection and you have a soft mounted GoPro, naked GoPro and also O3 camera mount. This is amazing, four points, I, I guess it's perfect, it's how you should design it and it should prevent the O3 from getting too much jello. We're gonna try in a second and of course this is the DJI antenna, the carbon, it's very nice and pretty pretty well built drone. I don't know how these uh, ducks are gonna do in crashes. I hope I don't crash and I don't have to test it. But they see pretty flexible, so they should hold some impacts. Also because the drone does not have a lot of inertia. And now time to bind and go fly. See you then.
And boom, it's another day. This month of May has been crazy. Every day it pours after lunch, it rains a lot and I cannot manage to complete the videos the same day. But bound the drone, put the little foam. I'm gonna fly with a 660 milliamps 4S battery. Uh, let's see how it does. Perfect, it's recording, let's fly. I don't know why my goggles are fogging up today a lot. I armed it, it's super silent, it's crazy. Man, I love these small drones, I just love them. This one is super precise. Oh! It's really, really, really stable. Wow. So let's fly indoor first. I'm so happy about the O3 system because it just allows you to do stuff. You see? So confident, the drone is super small, you can fly everywhere. It's, it's amazing. Look, I love it. This is the indoors, of course this is an indoors drone, but I know it flies amazing outdoors as well, because it's light and you don't have to carry super big cameras on top, so the weight balance is fine. You can write with this drone. Yeah, of course, I called it. Yeah, I called it, totally. Okay. No problem, you have uh, turtle mode and it's not a big deal. Come on. Looks like the camera angle is raised a bit, let's put it in acro. I mean, it's a two inch. <laughs> it goes. These propellers, I've never tested them before, but they are probably the best propellers out there for, the two, for a two inch. I've never seen a two inch fly like this. It's well built, but probably it's the propellers. And I'm flying with the goggles fogged up. I don't know why. I have to clean them. I clean them with my shirt. And of course, it's magpie time again. You can hear it, I don't know. I, oh! My friend, always there. Wait, I am chasing the magpie. Is it a magpie? Yes, it looks. No, maybe it's a crew. Where is it going? I mean, remember I'm flying a two inch be behind a bird. I'm super, super, super... Okay, maybe I'm going a little bit too far with this drone. But wow, wow, it's efficient, it flies fast. It's... It's amazing. <laughs> this drone will go on my backpack for sure, wow. Such a small drone to have and it can do this, crazy. Imagine flying it in the city, in urban areas. People don't care and you can do mostly anything you want with the O3. Oh, big, 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 big sag there. And voltage, 14, wow, 14 volts. Yeah, okay, we are done. <laughs> That's why. Wow, wow, 3 minutes 47, but it's a 2 inch, flying behind the bird, flying agro, crazy, love it, love it, love it. The motors are warm, nothing crazy. This propeller, I, I, I'm saying it's the propellers because all, all the drones are mostly the same, but you know the specs, the motors, but these propellers, never seen them, they fly amazing. Crazy, wow.
I wasn't seeing anything because they are super 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 fogged up I don't know why and I'm a moron I forgot to hit record on the camera so I'm gonna comment what I recorded because I'm not letting it go to waste so basically okay took off and there was a very very big crow on that tree I saw it with my eyes he was screeching at me and it's just crazy now with more camera angle you see the drone has no problem keeping up with a flying bird and look at this shot it's crazy I'm super super excited and then I, I let go because I was going far I didn't want to lose the drone did a flip here and and then still heard the crow screeching at me so I turned the other way and there he is <laughs> and he was pissed off like crazy and he was still trying to grab my drone while I was flying and look uh, look now he's gonna swoop me from behind <laughs> and then I landed because I was starting to say hey I hope I'm recording I hope I'm recording let me check I checked and I wasn't recording of course but I have a minute more let's fly again because I'm having too much fun with these crows okay let's fly again now everything is recording and I have a little bit of battery left. I know for sure the crow is going to come back at me because he's pissed off. You can hear it. You can hear it. I see. I see the, the shadow. <laughs> ah, okay. It's a I believe it's a magpie. Whoa. I lost it. Let me dive. Let me dive before he... <laughs> it's, it's crazy because... One moment you are chasing them and one time they are chasing you. It's like a dog fight. Oh! I have to fly low <laughs> to avoid getting caught. Okay, there he is. I mean, it's a two inch. Remember, it's a two freaking inch and he's doing this. Whoa! And I'm not scared of hurting him because he's still, you know, a, a small drone. That's the beauty of it. I just don't want to go too far because I won't want to lose signal. Oh my God. Let me do a spin, dive. I got to dodge because I know he's coming. Whoa, that was... Freaking close. <laughs> That's some of the craziest shot I ever <laughs> took with, the, with a drone, actually. Wow. So close to the bird. Okay, let me go in the middle of the trees so he cannot fly here. I hope. It's a bird. He knows how to fly, probably. I love this drone. <laughs> I'm super impressed by the way he flies. It's outdoors, I mean, it's no, there is no wind today, but this drone is, is behaving like a toothpick. Packs a punch and, oh my god, uh, I'm, I'm sad I scratched it, but no problem, wow. Okay, I guess it's time to land, time to land. Wow. <laughs> what a, a bad landing I did. <laughs> But it's upright and it's on the ground. And I didn't scratch it too much. A little bit on the front. Wow. Oh. And maybe it's just the adrenaline talking, but I had a lot, a lot of fun with this drone. And with the bird, of course. There was a moment I was flying backwards with the bird chasing me super close. I hope it turned out good because I want to post it on social media. And crazy. I never got that close with a drone and this one I feel confident because it has the ducks so I don't hurt the animal. I don't want the animal to catch the drone but still I want to get close to him. Crazy. And I mean this drone one of the best two inches I ever tried. Flies amazing, it's silent, it's pretty efficient. Three minutes 30, three minutes 40 with that kind of flying it's nice. And if you fly indoors, it flies amazing indoors. You are, you are looking at five minutes, probably even more. You can put bigger batteries. And I, th I feel 
that the propellers have to do a lot with how it flies, how fast it flies and how silent they are. They look like solid set of propellers and a nice upgrade to all the other two inches. I will try and make a video because if you have other two inches, these propellers can be an improvement. Good job, gem fan. And you know me, this drone already flies amazing, but I want to make it lighter. So probably the GPS is going to go and also the O3 is going to get naked because then I'm going to probably save around 20 grams, which is a lot on a drone this size lot less energy spent, can recover faster, can fly for longer, more silent. On a drone this size, every gram you can shave, you have more fun. And this is gonna go on my backpack for sure, because, wow, can do everything, I can work with it this way. And of course, two inches like these are amazing, only if you use the O3 camera. If you put another one on them, you start to lose the, the appeal because then it's it's heavy and you don't, it doesn't fly this good. Maybe indoors, but at that point, get at 2.5 inches, it's gonna be better. If you only use the O3 and it's good enough, in my opinion, this is a solid drone to have in your collection. Super small, you can fly around children, you can fly around animals everywhere, urban areas. Put it in your backpack and you have a nice machine that people don't really care about and you are confident because you're not gonna hurt people so very very recommended drone if you don't have a two inch and as always thank you for watching remember to like subscribe and comment on this video let me know if you expected this drone to fly this good and go down in the description down below if you want to support the channel you find all the links to the products and thank you so much stay safe and happy flying bye